so my first question was, um, so how did, at least for the performance you're doing next Thursday here at um, the University Musical Society, um, how did you come to assemble this particular program? Well, um, first of all, I got the poems. I knew there was this collection, Africa Sings. At the same time, Philip Glass was <coughs> writing a piece <coughs> for the African diva Angelique Kido. Mm -hmm. And so I decided to combine these two vocal elements and around it, try to make a program which touched in a way on the America from the other side. And I don't want to be saying black experience. I'm not any way in a situation to talk about that or to comment on it. But the fact that when these poems were published in Vienna in the 20s, they caused a sensation. Um, it was uh, absolutely the, the quality of the writing. And Szymanski had a German translate, some of them. Mm -hmm. And so what you're going to hear in that arbor, of course, is these songs sung in German. And these poems are in a very good translation. And it was a translation that the Viennese knew about. And it's the translation, then, of course, it's Szymanski set to music. I was wondering, perhaps as a follow-up question, you know, what you've observed in the process of sort of what might be some of the interesting musical threads that you've seen or sort of listened to in putting together the program as well. First of all, um, Porgy and Bess is a seminal American piece. Um, and the suite that we're playing is a tremendous orchestral virtuoso piece. And it seems to me that it fits absolutely beautifully in this um, thematic set. And Duke Ellington was such an elegant, important composer, not just performer, but composer. When I was a student in New York, I was a member of the chorus at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine. And Duke did several performances at the Cathedral with the chorus from our Cathedral Chorus singing. And so that was my first close up to Duke Ellington. Um, but I absolutely wanted to have a major piece by him in this program. So that's sort of how we put the whole thing together. I think another question I have is that, um, you know, the Bruckner Orchestra Linz is so well known for, of course, its excellent recordings in Austro German music, in Bruckner, and things like that. Um, was there a particular approach that sort of the orchestra ended up taking towards this musical program as well? Well, I don't need to teach them how to play modern music or how to play, <laughs> for that matter, jazz. There's some brilliant jazz musicians in the orchestra. Um, so it's a musical language that they're very comfortable with and that they know very well. And uh, so it just fits. I mean, this is a, a modern symphony orchestra in Central Europe. With uh, We have musicians from 30 different nationalities as part of the orchestra. And uh, we have a wide palette of you know experiences help to make up this orchestra and uh, so it wasn't necessary to do anything other than to take the music and rehearse it. Okay, okay great. Uh, so my last question, which I think you've already alluded to, but I just didn't know if you wanted to share more thoughts on it, is that there's this sort of long history of classical music uh, engaging with uh, black musical idioms from Dvorak, of course, and the New World Symphony uh, up to sort of Philip Glass. Um, and I just didn't, I sort of want to know if you had any sort of observations in your own sort of uh, work putting this together of sort of what have you observed about these kinds of musical works? Um, and and what, what are the sort of values that they are bringing to, uh, to sort of the classical musical world? Well, it's obvious in the sense that putting Szymanski and Duke Ellington on the same program, um, they're two people from two different planets, um, and their musical and cultural experience is widely different. Um, but in an interesting way, both composers were outsiders in the classical world. Mm -hmm. Tim Linsky was very well known as a teacher, and he was an instrument in the music of Alban Berg, and he was a very important figure in Vienna, but actually his music wasn't played very much. And Duke Ellington was revered as a performer, but when, for instance, this piece was first premiered, I mean, the, trash, the press trashed it because they didn't know how to deal with it. Um, and it's it's brilliant music, so it's, uh, you know, sometimes these things take time. But um, I 
think that having a program like this with these different elements coming into it um, are something that I think can perhaps be a regenerative part of what the American classical tr tradition has been and what it probably should become. And I feel in a way, you know, uh, excuse me, but I feel also, you know, I've lived in Central Europe now for 30 years. Uh, I come regularly to the States, I work there regularly, but I'm at home over here, so I've had, you know, quite a different perspective. Um, but I think, in a way, my having that perspective is probably a way that I can make an interesting contribution to exactly what I've been talking about. And you may notice that you won't find this kind of program anywhere else in a North American orchestra. So, exactly. Uh, yes. maybe, maybe people should say, why is that? Yes. So, and I'm also thrilled that at the University of Michigan, there are people who are smart enough to want to do this kind of thing. So it's great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, no, you're right. I, I am myself an African-American classical musician. I work on these issues. I work on them in a German context as well. So I am so excited. I am so thrilled to be bringing my students and my class well, to the concert. You know, I grew up in Toledo. I know the area. Oh, wow. I used to go to Wolverine football games whenever my father could scrape up some kind of ticket. Okay. So I'm at home around there. So, uh, you know. Sure. Uh, it would be nice to meet. You. Be nice to meet you all again. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye.